in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to automate your descending and the creation of your looms. Now they'll still look like they're personalized, but the thing is, is that most agency owners, the way they're sending looms is it works really well and they can book a lot of appointments, but it takes a lot of energy and they're not scalable. And if you wanna outsource it to a VA on your team, you can't because they can't say they can't speak as well as you. And most of the time, a lot of the agency owners, the people that they're getting on the team, at least the first few employees that actually help with the outreach, they're usually VAs, three dollar VAs, five dollar VAs, not five dollars a day, but three to five dollars an hour, or maybe you pay them three dollars plus five dollars, ten dollars per booked appointment. Now, as I said, the way that way most people do looms works really well, but they're not scalable. So I'm gonna walk you through a way of showing you how you can actually automate the entire process of creating these looms and sound the exact same every time you create one. And you actually, if you do 50, 100, 200 of these, that you actually have your voice intact because it's not gonna be actually you saying it. You're gonna be using an audio file, but I'll walk you through what I mean uh, when I show you this. Now, if you've ever joined any Agency Gurus course, you know that they're always pushing their students to do looms. That's because they work really well and actually hedges on the law of reciprocity, where you give something to prospects of value for free and they'll reciprocate that by giving you at least the time of day to respond, or at best they book a sales call to hear what you have to say or hear more about what your offer is. Now, the problem with how the gurus teach this, how I said at the start, is that it's not scalable. And how many looms do you think you can send per day before you lose your voice? 30, 50, maybe even 60? I remember when I was doing looms for my agency, I had a real estate marketing agency, I used to record 50 looms per day manually, five days per week. And this is pure cold, like it wasn't like I DM people and then they asked me for it. I was just doing pure cold because I tried that other approach and I didn't like it. I'll just rather send it to someone and then find out whether they're interested later on or not. <coughs> now this booked me lots of calls, but by the time I actually took the appointments, I had lost my voice and it sounded like I used to smoke a pack of cigarettes a day. And it was a massive energy drainer. I always felt super zapped by the time I rocked up to the appointments because it was that three, four hours in the morning where I actually had to record the looms. And then after I recorded the looms, I would then jump on the sales calls. The problem with that was that I had spent so much energy in the morning now I had to jump on these sales calls and I always felt super drained when I was actually taking them. But the good thing is, and the, the reason why you're watching this video is that there's a new way to do them though. And the day that I figured this out, I, I honestly couldn't believe what I had discovered because it had been so long where I'd been recording these manual looms and it was one of the best discoveries to date regarding outreach. All those years of ag agony of recording myself doing 50 looms, mucking up, reshooting the same one like 10 times, all of the pain was alleviated. And to my fellow agency owners that have created looms in the past, you know that feeling. Like, you know, maybe you get like five good ones, six good ones, 10 good ones. Then all of a sudden you have that one where you muck up and then like you might muck up again and then you start getting in your head and then boom, boom, boom. All you know is that like 20 minutes has passed and you still haven't gotten off the same one. You just keep mucking up. Now let me show you the system that's responsible for adding an extra 16K in MRR for Jacob from Vision Media, which he runs a real estate marketing agency, and an extra 40K in MRR for Connor. He runs Systems for Sales, a short form content agency. Automated looms. Now when you create looms, most people think that you need to have your video on and that you need to say the person's first name. But based on the test that I did, as long as your offer is good, the rest doesn't actually matter. Figure one here. Here's uh, this is just the screenshot of my instantly, me getting a 10% positive reply rate on automated looms. Here, you can see 635 contacted, 24.1% reply rate, and 68 opportunities from that. And then figure two, more screenshots of my metrics. So this is obviously where I track the metrics for this, 39% loom viewed rate on cold traffic, 12% positive reply rate, average booking rate of 3.75% and a show up rate of 77%. Now, you typically you'd wanna have, so if you have a positive reply rate of 12%, you'd wanna at least have 6% um, average booking rate and book at least half of them in. The reason for that discrepancy is because I was so busy with appointments 
that I actually didn't have time to do the follow-ups. So I was stuck in either taking the appointments or service delivery. And at the time, I was wearing all the hats. I was wearing every single hat, didn't have a proper team in place except for one VA. So yeah, the reason for that number is because I didn't have the systems in place. Now, when you create your looms for prospects, you pretty much say the exact same thing. So here's a breakdown of how you wanna automate the process of creating these looms. And first thing you wanna do is create a do Google document where you write out your loom script. So this will be what you're actually saying in the video. So the words, so you, you don't wanna go into too much detail in this. The issue that a lot of people make with these looms is that there's some gurus out there teaching that, oh, the looms need to be five minutes, it needs to be 10 minutes, and that's just not true. You just need a one minute, two minute quick elevator pitch about what your offer is and a bit of your history and then that's pretty much all you need. You don't really need these five minute, 10 minute looms. Here's a general structure. Hey, wanted to reach out to you personally because I've got a phenomenal way of helping you to help you grow your business. Now I'm not gonna walk you through all of this. You can pause that here if you wanna have a look at that general structure, but here is my script. So this is a script that was allowing me to get a 10%, 12% positive reply rate. Now, as I said, when I was using this script, I was running my marketing agency for real estate agents but now I run appointment booking agency. And the reason for that switch is because I enjoy acquisition and sales and I hate service delivery. And I know a lot of, there's a massive problem of agency owners not knowing how to consistently book appointments. So rather than continuing to force myself to do something where I was doing that for like two years and I actually hated it just because it actually made me some decent money, I actually switched to something that I enjoy and that I'm passionate about. Now I'm teaching you here on how to get more appointments and how to make more sales. So if you wanna click through here, this is my general script. Now there's gonna be two things that you do from here. You can make a copy, or you can make a copy of this and then rework the script based off of this structure here. Or some people are just gonna blatantly copy it. And like, don't say that you won't, cause you know, the, the law of averages will say that there will be some people that just blatantly copy it. And look, depending on where you're based, if you're in the US, this script will absolutely rip for you especially if you're a real estate marketing agency. So, you know, I don't care which one you do. If you rework it or if you copy it for yourself, you can just go ahead and use this script. Now, you don't want it to be longer than two minutes. If it's longer than two minutes, you've got to make it shorter, keep making it shorter. Uh, what you can actually do is script timer. So there's two things you can do. You can either when you when you think you've finished the script, you can either get your phone, put a timer on and record yourself saying it from start to finish. And when you finish, stop it on the timer. Or you can just copy and paste your script into here. Here, here, come here, calculate. Now, depending on how fast you talk, if you're like a, on an average speaker, so that'll be a minute and 22 seconds, which that's about accurate, right? So that'll give you a rough estimate. All you're looking for here is to make sure that you're actually under two minutes. Now, once you've written your script and you're happy with it, record yourself reading out loud using Loom. You don't have to memorize your script. Just open up the Google Doc and read it out loud. So essentially what you would do is you'd, read it, you'd watch yourself read this out loud because essentially what you're gonna do from there, right? is you're gonna keep repeating this process until you read from start to finish without any mistakes. And this is now your master audio file V1. And the reason why this is so easy because you're gonna have yourself reading through it. You're gonna have yourself reading through it. So like, unless you can't read as fast as you speak, you should be all good in terms of reading from start to finish without any markups. You should only need a few takes. Now, assuming you have a list of prospects you wanna reach out to, you wanna open up your prospects Instagram page, Facebook page, LinkedIn page, and do the following. Actually, sorry, I skipped a point. You wanna make sure you download it. So as I said, you have to keep recording yourself from start to finish without any mistakes. And once you've got a file you're happy with, you wanna then download it, look at how long the loom is, and then you're gonna need this later. The reason you're gonna need it later is because you're gonna need to figure out when to actually stop recording the loom. Now, assuming you have a list of prospects you wanna reach out to, you wanna open up your prospects Instagram page, Facebook page, LinkedIn page, and do the following. So I've got a your bunch of prospects here. What you typically do is you bring up this here. 
Now you would have downloaded your your file, right? Hello, it's Shay here. I hope your day is going as well as and mine. This is, and wow, this is what do I, I mean, have some? By the way, so this is going to be your file. Like this is the file that you've just downloaded, the one that I said where you're reading over the script, and you're going to open this up. You're going to minimize that, and then what you would do is as follows. You'd click on Loom. Make sure it's in the desktop app, not the extension. Go to preferences, turn on system audio on. It'll be in the preferences section. Select none for microphone. You wanna do this because you don't want any sound coming through the microphone when you're actually recording because you don't need any sound coming through the microphone. It's gonna be the sound from this as long as you've turned system audio on. Then you wanna to go to preferences, then shortcut and change the draw shortcut. So this one. Change the draw shortcut to Command D, or I have it on Control D because I'm on PC. Then change the video of you in the corner. So you know this one that would be in the corner. I'm gonna go here and put that one. And the reason for that is because if you have your video open here, if you have your video open here and then you have the audio playing, then it's not gonna match up. You're either gonna like then every time you have the run through, you're gonna have to say exactly what's saying in the audio file. Whereas this way, you can be here. You, you can just be here doing whatever you want, and they can't really see you. And if your microphone's off, it's just gonna pick up the sound from this. Now, what you wanna do from there is you wanna, as I said, change that in picture in the corner, open up the master file, which is already open hit start recording, a notification will pop up saying that your mic microphone is muted because you should have turned the microphone off and then click yes, proceed. Now, this is the page, the prospects page that you would open. What you would do is you'd open this, click that, you'd click all the buttons and then click yes, proceed. And the timer would go three, two, one. And then you would press control P. Hello, it's Shay here. I hope your day and is going as well as mine. And wow, name. do I have something special here for scroll you today. Down, First of all, I just wanted to say like thank you for putting some time aside to watch this. And do you remember how I, I said that. at the start that you would need to know how long the video was so that you could see that I didn't copy and paste at your timer. On now the reason I'm reaching out to you is because I've got be an like, opportunity okay, that I feel will completely a blow the you loom away. Was a minute and a half. Essentially, and I'll help you add an additional one to three to listings with minimum effort button. and no risk on your side over the next three months. You're probably a victim of multiple emails. And you, as I said, wait for the audio file to finish. And you should know from how long the file was when you actually click download. And boom, you just made a personalized loom without having to say a thing using a pre-recorded audio file. No more mock-ups, no more losing your voice, no more resistance to actually make them. Making 100 looms per day is now a piece of cake. And if you're a bit of a psycho like I am, you can, and you have more than one computer, maybe you have a computer and a laptop, maybe you have two computers, as you can see, I've got a computer there and then also have a laptop too. So what you can do is you can time it in a way so that you start recording one automatically on this one, and then halfway through, you can start recording another one and you just switch between the computers. Obviously the downside is you have to keep switching between, but then this way you can smash out the looms twice as fast. But if you're watching this, you probably don't wanna be doing a lot of the work yourself. Like if you already have a few clients, you can easily outsource this process now to a VA. You can outsource your looms. You can get your VA to send 100, 150 looms per day. And now it's gonna be as if because like, before you couldn't actually outsource the looms to VAs because half the time you'd have a VA in the Philippines and they have an accent and then there's a stigma around that when people with accents are reaching out. So now they can sound exactly like you. People are going to think it's you, but it's actually your VA that's going to be making this looms. Now, if you want to see a loom, an example, here you go. So here's an example of one. Now, as you can see here, see this GIF of me drawing that circle? That's why I draw the circle around at the start. Because when you send this and it lands in someone's email inbox, 
it's going to show up with my email GIF. And the thing is, because you're sending completely cold and they didn't ask for the video, you need to do everything you can within your power to increase the likelihood of them actually opening it. And with this GIF and this preview GIF actually playing in the email, it makes it more likely for them to actually click on, click on it. But this is what... Shay here, I hope your day is going as well as mine. And Shay here, I hope your day is going as well as mine. And wow, do I have something special here for you today. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you for putting some time aside to watch this. I do appreciate that. And I thought I'd add a personal touch to my approach so that you could be a victim of mobs. It's pretty as awesome. So if you're serious, boom, it's time to speak. And when you now send I it out to your prospects, depending on if, if you're using instantly, what I do here, right, is once I've actually gotten the loom here, I'm going to copy thumbnail code, and then you're going to put it here. And then when you upload your list, to instantly, you just want to um, have a loom GIF as a personalized variable, as a custom variable. And that way you can just mass send them out and it actually send like a GIF because you don't want it sending to them with a link, just a hyperlink link. You want it send to them, sending to them looking like a GIF. And the way that you actually do that is by making sure that you copy the thumbnail code. Now, if you've got value out of this video, consider subscribing because I'm going to be bunching, posting a bunch more content like this around acquisition and sales. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. See ya.